Sarcoidosis. Sarcoidosis is a multi-system disorder of unknown etiology characterized by non-cassiating granulomas in affected tissues. The disease may affect any organ, and the nervous system is affected in 5% of cases of sarcoidosis. Generally, it affects young adults and is more common in blacks. It usually begins with bilateral hilar adenopathy, pulmonary infiltrate, uveitis, or skin lesion. Hypercalcemia and hypercalciuria are common. Manifestations of neurosarcoidosis. Muscle. Slowly progressive myopathy with proximal weakness. Peripheral nerve. Mononeuritis multiplex. Polyneuropathy. Guillain-Barre syndrome. Polyradiculopathy. Cranial nerves. Peripheral facial nerve palsy of one or both sides is common. Other cranial nerves may be affected. Spinal cord may be compressed by an extramedullary or intramedullary granuloma. Spinal block may occur. Intracranial. Most common presentations relate to basilar meningitis with involvement of neighboring structures, obstruction of CSF pathways, and hydrocephalus. Mass lesions are often found in the hypothalamic region. Infrequently, neurosarcoidosis comes to medical attention as a mass lesion mistaken for a meningioma before surgery. Opportunistic infections occur because of defective immune system or as a treatment complication and may include tuberculosis men meningitis, progressive multifocal leukoencephalopathy, herpes simplex encephalitis, and cryptococcal meningitis. Diagnostic tests. Definitive diagnosis is based on biopsy demonstration of typical granulomas. CT and MRI are helpful in localizing CNS lesion. Gallium scan helps in detecting systemic involvement and is more sensitive than chest x-ray. CSF examination may show increased protein level, pleocytosis, and low glucose level. Treatment and prognosis. A regimen of prednisone 40 to 80 milligrams daily is the mainstay of treatment. If treatment fails or if corticosteroids cannot be tapered, cytotoxic agents may be added. Most patients respond to treatment, but one-third relapse when treatment is discontinued. Prognosis is usually better when disease is limited to peripheral nerve. Effective response to radiotherapy for intracranial sarcoidosis has been reported. And that is sarcoidosis. Have a great day.